Hello and welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 28 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In our last lesson, we learned about a character named Hippie Hippo, and Hippie Hippo likes to play his harmonica. So if you take a harmonica and you make your hands like this, and you blow hot air through it, then you can make your harmonica hum. And when it's humming, a harmonica sounds this way. After learning Hippie Hippo sound and playing with it a bit, we learned how to draw and label a hat. And this hat is where a rat is in the hat. And then we also learned how to draw a cowboy and we put a great big hat on our cowboy. So now I've taken and in our chart of all of the animals and objects and things that we make sounds with, I've added our cowboy. And over here, it tells us that a cowboy goes, yee-haw! So everybody pretend like you're roping that bucking bronco and go, yee-haw! Now, if we have hippie hippo, and we make hippie hippo sound, and we use that for yee-haw, it's gonna go like this. Hee-haw! Can you do that? Hee-haw! And if we put it into are you sleeping? It's going to sound like this. Is your harmonica humming? Is your harmonica humming? Hippie hippo, hippie hippo. Hippies cowboy saying, hippies cowboy saying, hee ha, he, he ha, he. So let's try some other sounds now with our cowboy. So we have Daisy Dragon and Daisy's dancing, so move your hands around. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Daisy Dragon, Daisy Dragon, Daisy's cowboy saying, Daisy's cowboy saying, dee da dee, dee da dee. What would Mimi Mermaid's cowboy say if she's moving her magic mop? Say this after me, me ma, me, your turn. Me, ma, me. And here's Sadie Seal. She's surfing, so make Sadie Seal sound go. Sss. Are you surfing, Sadie Seal? Sadie Seal. Sadie's cowboy saying. Sadie's cowboy saying. See saw. See. See saw. See. What's Timmy Tiger's cowboy gonna say if he's tickling his tummy? T ta t. T ta T. What's Rosie Raccoon's cowboy going to say? She, here she is riding or roping or roping and riding. Re ra, re, re ra, re. And Lizzie Lamb's laying her head on a soft pillow of lemon leaves and going, Ooh. so her cowboy is going to go, Lee la, Lee, Lee la, Lee. Now let's practice some of the words that we've been learning to draw and label each time we learn a new sound. So here's the chart that we have been working on. And as you can see, it got full when I added the drum to it. And now we have a hat to add. So we've started a second piece of paper for our cowboy. Who can show me the sounds in the word hat? At. Let's try that again. Ready? At. Now if we go back to our first chart, we learned to draw a picture of a pop. Show me the sounds in pop, and I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, so a pop was painting, going to the doctor, and painting. So it was pop. Now again, pop. And we also learned how to draw a top. Who can show me the sounds in top? T -op. Again. T -op. When we learn to draw a picture of a saw, show me the sounds in saw. S saw. S saw. Now in today's lesson, I'll give you some things to talk about. 
One of the topics in today's lesson is art. So I want you to talk for a moment with your teacher or your parent about what is art and what kind of art do you like to look at? What kind of art do you like to create or to participate in? This is a Skybrary book that if you have the app on, from Skybrary, your parent or teacher can read with you. And it is by Gail Gibbons and it's called The Art Box. And I have the actual book here for this one. So we'll take a look at just a little bit of it. And in this book, it shows us all of the different kinds of things that you might use to, to create art. So you could be using pencils or crayons or paint brushes. And here's a picture of a cat that somebody drew a picture of with their pencil. And each time we learn a new sound, we do some art. This is another Skybrary book that's a lot of fun, and this is about a girl named Willow, and she likes art, and so you could um, read that book from Skybrary. And this is a different way of making art. This book is called Paper Picado, and Paper Picado is where you fold a piece of paper like this girl has done, and then you cut out shapes in the folds, and then when you unfold the paper, you end up with a piece of art that you might put on your refrigerator or somewhere. Now there are other kinds of art besides drawing and painting and cutting. This is a girl who likes to be an artist on the balance beam. And so here she is walking across a balance beam and this is a Skybrary book again called I Will Try. And here's another picture from that book. And in this picture, you can see some bars back here, and our character we're going to talk about today likes being on the high bar or on the parallel bar and hanging down and doing all sorts of tricks, so that's a nice one. Another kind of art that you might talk about goes with this Skybrary book that we looked at earlier called My Friend Maya. And if you remember, Maya liked to dance, and so dancing is another kind of art that you can talk and read about. And we also have artists who like to sing. And so this is a book called The Star of the Show that's also a Skybrary book. So you might like to read that to talk about art. Another topic that we're gonna be talking about to go along with Arnie Aardvark today is ants. And so you might talk with your parent or your teacher about ants, where you would find ants and, and whether you find ants to be interesting or whether you find ants to be a problem. Now, Arnie Aardvark that I mentioned earlier, um, he loves ants because that's one of his primary types of food. And so Aardvarks have a very long nose they have a long sticky tongue so that they can stick their tongue into places and they can pull out ants to eat. Another kind of animal that aardvarks like to eat are termites. And so the termite looks a little bit like an ant, but the difference between a termite and an ant is an ant you might find in the ground and they go around and try to pick up food where termites live in old wood and they actually eat the wood. So if you're not careful, ants could get into your house and actually eat your house. Now another kind of animal that likes ants is an anteater. And anteaters and aardvarks are not the same kind of an animal at all. They look a lot alike and they eat very similar kinds of food, but they're not the same animal. And this is a book called Alexander Anteater's Amazing Act. And so here he is acting just like the book, The Star of the Show. This is a Skybrary book that is called Marty Aardvark. And so if you want to read about an aardvark, this would be a good Skybrary book to have your parent or teacher read to you. Here's our picture of Arnie Aardvark. Now, Arnie Aardvark loves art. And fortunately for Arnie Aardvark, he lives near MacArthur Park. And here's a picture of MacArthur Park. And every year they have a special art festival. And this says art festival today, 10 a.m. So Arnie 
digs a big hole and he hides in that hole where he can stick his nose out and he can watch all the festivities at the art festival. His favorite artists to watch are the artists that perform up on the high bar. And so here you can see some animals who are hanging from one arm from the high bar and here's another hanging below the high bar and here are some with an umbrella walking across the high bar. And so they're doing all of these special kinds of tricks on the high bar. So Arnie, during the day when the art festival is taking place, he likes to watch all of those animals performing on the high bar. Then at night, one night, Arnie decided he wanted to perform on the high bar. So when it was dark and nobody could see, Arnie came out of his hole, climbed up onto the high bar, grabbed the high bar, and he hung on the high bar. But then when he tried to do a trick, all he could do was hang there on the high bar. He couldn't do anything else. Well, after a while, he got tired of hanging from the high bar and decided he wanted to get down, but he couldn't figure out any way to get down. So the next morning, when all of the artists came to the art festival to perform, there they found Arnie hanging from the high bar. Well, one of them was kind enough to go over to the high bar lift up Arnie, help him down from the high bar, and he scurried off and back to his hole where he watched the art festival all day. Well, the next night, he decided, I'm going to try that again. So Arnie Aardvark got out of his hole, went over to the high bar, climbed up onto the high bar, grabbed the high bar with one arm, and hung there, and he tried to spin around. He tried to get on top. He tried to do an act but he couldn't do anything on the high bar. So what do you think happened the next morning? The artist came back. There was Arnie Aardvark hanging from the high bar. They came over, helped Arnie Aardvark get down from the high bar, and he scurried back to his hole and watched all the festivities for the rest of the day. So the next day, Arnie Aardvark came out and he did exactly the same thing that night. He climbed up under the high bar grabbed the high bar with one arm, and once again, Arnie was stuck there. So when the artists found him the next morning, they thought, well, you know, Arnie's not very good at performing artistic tricks on the high bar, but he is really good at hanging there. So maybe we can give Arnie a job to do. So they made a sign like this, and because Arnie could hang from just one arm, he had his other arm where he could hold out the sign that said, Art Festival Event Today at 10 a.m. So if you go to MacArthur Park, you may find Arnie Aardvark hanging there from the high bar all day long, showing when to come to the art festival. So now whenever we see our picture of Arnie Aardvark hanging from the high bar, I want you to pretend to reach up and grab the high bar with one arm. As you pull down on that high bar, I want you to say this sound after me. Go, Arr! Let's do that again. Arr! Now that's kind of a fun sound because a lot of people tell us that that's the sound a pirate makes. And so here's a picture of a pirate going, Arr! And sometimes they go, Arr me hearties! And so that's another way you can think of Arnie Aardvark's sound. So now we're going to put Arnie Aardvark into our song for Are You Sleeping? Only let's do it with our cowboy again. Are you on the high bar? Are you on the high bar? Arnie Aardvark, Arnie Aardvark. Arnie's bells are saying, Arnie's bells are saying, ar, 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 ar. So is Arnie's sound a vowel or a consonant? Vowel, how did you know? We didn't put anything with it. We just did it all by itself. So it's like the cheese. Arnie Aardvark is a vowel because vowels stand alone. Now we can also put our vowels into apples and bananas. So if Arnie Aardvark eats an egg, it's going to sound like this. Arg. Can you say that after me? Arg. And if Arnie Aardvark eats a lemon, lemon has two syllables, lemon, so it's going to sound like this, lar marn. Can you do that? Lar marn. Now, what if we put our egg and our lemon into apples and bananas and use Arnie? It would end up sounding like this. 
are. Arnie likes to art, 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 args and larmarns. Again, Arnie likes to art, 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 args and larmarns. What happens if we put Arnie into a fly? Now, fly has the vowel at the end, so that's where we're going to put Arnie sound. Now it's going to be a flar. Can you do that after me? Flar. And if we had an onion, another two syllable word, onion, and we replace the vowel in both of those syllables, it's going to be like this arn yarn. Can you say that? Arn yarn. Now, if we put that into apples and bananas, what's it going to sound like? Arnie likes to art, 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 flowers and arn yarns. Arnie likes to art, 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 flowers and arn yarns. Now, Arnie has a song, and so let me teach you the words and the gestures for Arnie's song. So warm your muscles up this way. And we're going to start by looking at this long nose that an aardvark has. So everybody take your fingers and put on your nose and then stretch your nose out kind of like Pinocchio, like this. So it would go like this. Arnie aardvark, Arnie aardvark. Now reach up and grab the bar like this. Hangs from bars, hangs from bars. With one arm, with one arm. So show me your arm this way. So let's go back and repeat that. Arnie aardvark, Arnie aardvark. Hangs from bars, hangs from bars. With one arm, with one arm. Now let's see how we're going to spell his sound. Arnie Aardvark spells his sound with an A and an R. So he needs two letters for his sound. We can make a capital A this way, or you can show me another way to make a little A this way. You can make an R just by bending your finger over like this, or you can make it any way you like. So do that after me and say it. A-R is for Arnie, again. A-R is for Arnie, once more. A-R is for Arnie. Now reach up and grab the high bar. Hanging from the high bar. Hanging from the high bar with one arm. With one arm. Now let's try that one more time all the way through and then we'll do it with our recording. Ready? Arnie Ardvark. Arnie Ardvark. Hangs from bars with one arm. A-R is for Arnie, hanging from the high bar with one arm, with one arm. Now this time, I'm going to point to the words, and let's see if you can do the gestures while you look at the words and sing Arnie Aardvark sound. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, now when you get your picture of Arnie Aardvark, it looks like this. Um, here's his letter, A, letters A-R, so you can rainbow right over those letters. And then when you turn your page over on the back, I want you to think about some things that are in your life that goes along with Arnie Aardvark. So you might want to draw me a picture of your favorite kind of art. Maybe you like art that you do with painting. Maybe you like to do it with pencils and crayons. Or maybe your favorite kind of art, like Arnie, is, is an artist hanging from the high bar and doing all sorts of gymnastic tricks. Or um, maybe you like to do art by dancing or singing or playing an instrument. Or another thing you might do is Arnie Aardvark liked to 
watch things taking place at the park. So if you've ever been to a park with someone, what are some favorite things that you like to do with your family and friends at the park? So draw a picture and then you can go ahead and try to write a sentence about it and don't worry about whether your letters look like they do in a book or not and your teacher or parent can come along and you can tell them what it says and then they can write it down and show you what that might look like in a book. So thank you very much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed Arnie Yardvark's story. And in our next lesson, we're gonna come back and learn some new ways to play with sounds and, and learn a special kind of secret language. So thanks again for joining me and I hope you to see you in our next lesson.